and we couldn't do that because we were a public company. So it was like, but yeah, you're exactly right. The black market was really like where the money was at. Um, but they're right to buy their time because once it goes federally legal, any of these brands that have survived this time, you know, like, like burner, like cookies, I think he's going to crush it, but like, it just has to go federal. Like you have, cause otherwise you can't like really establish a brand If every state, you have to have a separate license, a separate grow. It's like, it's just too much. Whereas if you can grow it in one place and then just send it out, now the brand's got continuity. You know what I mean? Like you got the same product that's going all these different places as opposed to, because, you know, in, in one grow, you could grow the same strain with the same fucking grower and have slight differences between just batch to batch, let alone in a whole different fucking state and a whole different, you know, like weed grown in Nevada is going to be different than weed grown in Cali and, you know, so on and so forth. So, and with the regulations now, like you can't even like bring the strains across state lines. So it's just, like I said, really bad.